Hi, it's Adam Hewison. I'm coming to you from the digital studios of MarketClub.com. And the market we're going to be looking at today is one that's been very frustrating for a lot of people this year. And this is a market that was very promising as we're moving up here. And there was a great deal of talk that this market was going to go to uh, $2,000 an ounce. Well, that may be sometime in the future, but the market action that we're seeing in this market is not positive, and I'm going to show you that today. First of all, we've had a se we've had a series of lower highs and a series of lower lows, as you can see right here. And uh, it looks as though that is going to continue for the most part. Now, this is a market that had all the indications with this current crisis, I'm going to call it a crisis and crash you've seen in the stock market, should have by all means gone higher, but it hasn't. And I think that's the interesting thing about this market. So let's take this off the screen. Let's scope this in. This is a daily chart of the spot gold market. And what we've seen today, we did a video earlier this week, and we said if the market goes below 817.45, which is right here, we said we want to go short. Now, I'm going to show you with our trade trial technology just how that works. Now, this is a number we mentioned before it even happened. So let's take this off the screen. And here we are. Here is the 81745, which we mentioned in our earlier video. And here's today's date, 1016. We're doing this live. The markets moved below the area we said would be a sell. And we shorted gold today. Now, I don't know for sure if it's going to go down to 700 or 600 it uh, but the reality is that's the way we have to play it and I'm going to show you all of our indicators which are now negative I'm going to go to our quarterly which is negative from 801.65 on August 11th saying prices should go down I'm going to go to our monthly just a little further so you can see that here it is on 811 at 844.90 Price prices should m should move lower. Then I'm going to go to our weekly, and our weekly just kicked in today at 817.45, which means our daily is obviously negative. We've gotten out of our daily position uh, right around the uh, 760 level, which is right here, and. Uh, we were long, obviously. We we took a loss in that position, but the market has clearly demonstrated the line of least resistance, for the most part, is on the downside. So we want to stay short and look for this market to go still lower. Now we did have a target zone, which I want to discuss as well for this market. It's been unfulfilled. So let's take everything off. I'm going to scope out just a little further. Take all our triangles off the screen. Go out a little further. And here's what we were looking at, first of all. We, first of all, we saw this, this kind of area from 980 down to 740, uh, 840 rather, 980 to 840, which is 140. We took 140 away from 840, and that took us down to this level here. That was one of our unfulfilled target zones. We got very close. 735, but no cigar on this one. Now, with this current action here, with this double top pivot point, this is indeed going from 820 to 920, another hundred dollars. So it's saying it could go down to this area. So I'm looking for a target zone for gold to hit somewhere between 700 and 720 an ounce. Now, whether that hits it uh, this move or in the future, I don't know. But the, certainly, with all of our indicators pointing lower, it would look as though this market can and will go lower. We'd look for any rallies in gold to meet with resistance and uh, be sold off. I think we, if we close below 800, we're doing this live. It's 801 right now. You can see here's the date. Uh, gold is down $41. Uh, if we close below $800, it'll be a psychological. Uh, win for the bears, and I think we'll see more pressure. Remember, they always slide faster than they glide, so they go down much faster than you can imagine. Every time we've seen a move like this, um, we've seen this move, market move lower. So we could possibly see, again, somewhere along this area, uh, I didn't do that very well, but 
you can get the idea, somewhere around this area as a target zone for spot gold. So this is Adam Hewison. We're talking about spot gold and how it's going to affect the markets. Surprising moves in this market. Now you can watch our short video on trading gold stocks and one stock in particular. Stay tuned. One way to trade in gold, uh, if you don't want to trade in the spot market or the futures market, is to trade stocks. They don't quite reflect dollar for dollar every move in gold, but they do reflect the general trend in the metal. And the stock we're looking at today is ABX, Barrick Gold, traded on the New York Stock Exchange, symbol ABX. And this is a daily chart. And one thing stands out dramatically to me, and that is this formation here. This is what we've looked at before. This is a head and shoulders formation. Very, very negative. It's taken, it's taken months of distribution to push this market down. This, we have a target zone from 54 down to approximately 38, uh, maybe 37. Let's call it 37. So that's uh, 30. Uh, Seventeen dollars from thirty-seven pushes us down to around the twenty level, uh, which is going to be down here somewhere. So I would say the nineteen dollar to twenty dollar has got to be a target zone for this stock. Today we made it made a new low, uh, which is not surprising given the action in gold, and it looks as though we're going to see this market continue to move in a direction that is south of prices where they are right now. We're doing this live. It's uh, current prices around 25. It's um, on the 16th of s October and the price is down 236. So we're still looking for this market to go, but we're trading the stock based on the price and direction of gold, which we're looking to go down to $700. So this is Adam Hewison, Every Success. Let me show you one quick thing, by the way. People talk about trading in uh, stocks. How do our trade triangles do? Well, they do very, very well. Take everything off the screen. I'm going to put our monthly trade triangles on because in stocks we use our monthly charts. So here we go. We use our monthly charts. Monthly triangles in this case. And we use these for trend. Okay, so we use the monthly triangles for trend. Here's the last one. August 5th, 37. Market going down. Now we use our weekly charts, our weekly triangles, for timing. And as you can see, we had a signal right here on the 13th of October at 28.07 to short this market. And we are currently trading at 24.91. Again, we had a, another signal that came in on earlier, which was a big profit for us. So again, if you consistently trade the market using trade triangles, you will make money. No question about it. So this is Adam Hewison for MarketClub.com. I'll see you on the web. Thanks for watching.